Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and today I am actually going to be testing this Toyota Prius. It is a 2017 Toyota Prius and so I want to see what the EMF fields are like inside the car. So I'm going to jump in right now and get some readings. Okay, so here we are driving the Prius. I'm getting the electric fields in the back seat. I've got about fluctuating between 4 and 15. Let's put it on the floor. It's about 5 to 7 volts per meter. I'm going to put it in the middle of the back seat. 2.1 to 1. Now it is in the back seat on the passenger side. I've got around 4 to 5 volts per meter. Let's put it on the floor. A little bit higher here, so we've got 40 volts per meter on the floor behind, in the back seat behind the passenger side. Now let's see what I've got in the front seat. About 8, 4, 5, fluctuating between 5 and 10 volts per meter. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got on the floor of the passenger side around 10. At the console, it's quite low. Okay, now I'm going to do the magnetic fields. And in the back, behind the passenger side, I've got 1.4. Let's see, on the floor, I've got about 1.6. The middle about one the passenger side I'm sorry the driver's side backseat of the driver's side around one on the floor on the floor I've got around one in the front seat I've got 0.4 milligauss on the floor of the passenger side I've got about two now let's see what happens if I move this around. About 1.2 was my spike there. Now I'm at about 1 milligauss. Alright, now I'm just going to test the radio frequency in the vehicle. I hear a little bit of Bluetooth. I did try to disable the Bluetooth connection, but I was not successful. So we've got about fluctuating around 100 to 200 volts per meter of the Bluetooth signal. Um, now we could attempt to take the fuse out, but the driver of this car does not want me to do that. And it would probably disable most of the, um, the electrical panel up here. And so uh, the driver does not want me to do that. So otherwise, I'm not getting any other radio frequencies that I can hear, that I can audibly hear in the vehicle besides the Bluetooth. Um, and so that, that is it for the readings. Okay, so that was my testing of the 2017 Prius. Uh, you know, to be honest, the levels were significantly less than I expected them to be. Given that this is a, a hybrid, uh, I expected a lot higher electric fields and uh, magnetic fields too. It, I mean, to be honest, most cars I test have much higher magnetic fields. I was really surprised at how low these were. Um, you know, again, everybody's reactions to cars are gonna be different. So just because these lever, levels will, were relatively lower than what I normally see in a vehicle, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for an EMF sensitive person. You really got to test drive it yourself to determine if you can tolerate it. But I was really happy that the levels were as low as they were. And so that's it for the Toyota Prius. Uh, if you've got any questions about this, please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video because that really helps me to bring you more videos. All right, everybody. Have a great one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.